Hello vlog. Hello camera, hello people. <laughs> it's Saturday and I was not planning on vlogging today, but things are happening today that I did not anticipate. We did not plan our weekend. And so our weekend is just happening to us. Things are happening this weekend. It's Saturday morning. I've got some lights. Um, we're making ice cream this weekend. I look like a mess. I have not combed my hair. Uh, have I combed my hair today? I don't think I've combed my hair today. Um, I'm about to make a dip. We've got ice cream base started on the stove. I have cut out part of a dress pattern today. <laughs> um, and I've hung some pictures. So I wanna share some stuff with you. I'm gonna wash my hands and get started on my dip and then go back to the ice cream base. But I thought I'd pick up the camera and just kind of bring you along on our chaotic Saturday. So let me show you the pictures we've hung up. Okay, first we have this one. I have to say thank you to Janice Hansen for this, um, I'm trying to get an angle without the lights. For this print, um, she sent us another one and we had it matted and framed. And then she sent us this one and we also had this one matted and framed and we did yellow and I kind of love it. I think it's so fun. Um, and we decided to hang it here. We have this one right over here. And I was like second guessing myself. Is it too much cruise ship all in one corner? Um, probably for anyone else, but for me, I don't care. Um, and then we'll go up here because I hung this other thing up here. This is my, di dis oh my gosh, this is hard for me to say. Distinguished Scholar Award. And it actually came with this pin. But the pin is really cool because it's got a magnetic back, so I was able to just put it in. Um, this is not a custom frame. This was just like a existing frame that they had at Hobby Lobby. So these are my diplomas over here. And I had these professionally framed for me, um, framed and matted, and I just think they're so pretty. Um, but this one over here, super proud of that one too. So anyway, that is what I have um, had or that's what I've hung this morning. Um, over here on this table, we've got some, um, okay, so these are dress pattern pieces. <laughs> these are also dress pattern pieces that I have cut out. Uh-oh, that's okay. Um, and then we've got some grommets over here to try to hold everything down and flatten it out. Believe it or not, this is the sleeve. I am so excited for this dress. You will see that in another video. Um, I'm still waiting on fabric for that. This, I don't know if this will work. Um, I sent mom to the store this morning for some sheets because I thought that this fabric would be easier for me to make this out of because this is going to be like a shift, chemise, whatever um, for Emma. So. This is actually like the roll of paper. This is separate, so it's whatever, it's different. Anyway, um, this is the thing for the sleeve, so it's gonna be fine. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I thought I would use this because this is gonna be cheaper than like buying fabric and it's one great big piece, and so whatever. Anyway, um, so I, I traced that and cut that out this morning, and then over here on the stove, we've got. <laughs> ice cream base. I need to stir this. Oh, it's thickening. There we go. So this is like milk and cornstarch. Basically this is um, how we're going to make some homemade ice cream this weekend because 4th of July is coming up. I think we're going to have some people over and so we're going to make a mess this weekend, make some homemade ice cream because this is something we have done since I was a kid. We've made homemade ice cream. And then we've got some flavors. So we're going to do vanilla. We're going to do maple. Um, so vanilla, we always make purple. So let's see, do we have, um, we're going to need pink for a different flavor. Pull out some purple. Um, do. Anyway, so we've got maple. <laughs> the maple's probably going to be like a tannish brownish color. We always make our vanilla purple and then we're gonna do strawberry. Um, oh here, okay. Mom got some freeze dried strawberries today. So I think we're gonna put these in a blender until they're like a dust and then mix this in with the 
ice cream base. So we're gonna have some strawberry and we're gonna make the strawberry pink just because you kind of have to. But um, Emma's coming to visit for like 4th of July slash her birthday and she wants strawberry ice cream. So that's what we're gonna make for her. I'm very excited. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So anyway, and then down here, I'm gonna make a dip. So um, we're gonna need some garlic and I'm probably gonna use at least one jalapeno. I have a drink packet. Um, I never just use these though. Like it says you need sour cream and mayonnaise. I always add cream cheese and then I'll add something fresh like a fresh diced onion, fresh diced or fresh minced garlic, some jalapeno, and then the mayonnaise. And I've got my garlic press here just because this is a handy easy tool. Um, I could use my grate plate but I don't feel like it today. So. Anyway, that is where I'm going to start. I need to go back and stir this one more time, but hi, Smokey. Hi, baby. Okay, so since I'm sort of trying to be conscious about the number of dishes that I'm making, like dirty dishes, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this in the Tupperware just because since it is just mom and I, we're gonna eat on this dip all week, <laughs> probably not just today and tomorrow. So, since my sour cream has been in the fridge and I just decided I was gonna make this like five minutes ago, I'm going to put the sour cream in the Tupperware first. And I'm gonna microwave this for about five seconds, give it a stir, and then like continue to try to work it to make it be softer. But I'm not just gonna like zap the crap out of it because I don't wanna cook it. The point is to soften it so that it will mix with the mayonnaise easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this a little bit softer so that it'll not be lumpy in the dip. So I'll start there. Okay, essentially you want this to be like a spreadable consistency just because you don't want it to be lumpy in your dip and I'm there. Also, I need to be aware of <laughs> what's cooking on the stove because it's starting to thicken up and once it starts to go, it really goes fast. So I am going to have to multitask, but it's fine. Okay. So once that's fairly smooth, we'll move on and we'll add the mayonnaise to this. Okay, actually I've changed my mind. I'm gonna add the mix the packet first because um, and this is a trick I have. I like to add powders first, like as early as I can, because I think it helps actually thoroughly combine this. So if I mix this in last, it might not get mixed in completely. But if I mix it in now, before I add anything else, then I know it's gonna be completely mixed in, so it's gonna mix in better. So I'm gonna start here with this. So this is just the cream cheese and the dip mix. And now it's time for mayonnaise. And this is one cup of sour cream and one cup of mayonnaise. We don't have any sour cream yet, mom's at the store. So, and this is basically empty. There's like maybe two tablespoons in here. That's all that's in there. <laughs> okay, so time to open up the other one. I'll just use my cream cheese wrapper. Okay, and I always eyeball dip measurements. Like, does anybody ever, ever actually like accurately measure this stuff? Because I just look at it and I'm like, yeah, that's enough. And another dip hack slash trick I have is to start your dip early. So if you're gonna want it for lunch tomorrow, or like picnic or whatever, I say lunch, whatever. If you're gonna wanna eat this tomorrow afternoon, make it the night before, let it sit overnight, or at least make it early in the morning so that you'll have time, or so that it will have time to sit and rest because dips get better with time. They really need some time to like wake up and get happy. I'm gonna do two cloves of garlic right into this. So I've got my garlic press, do you guys have one of these? Cause it's like 
um, can opener style type of thing, but like you put your clove of garlic in here like this. Okay, here's the garlic press. So you put your clove of garlic inside like that and then you just kind of tilt the thing down and you squeeze. Woo. It's sort of messy, but if you do it right, you get like pressed garlic through these holes down here and it's so nice because it's that easy. You don't have to rub it on a plate. And you don't have to do a whole lot of like knife work to mince it up. But it's fresh garlic. So that's two cloves of garlic right in. Just because I like to doctor up my dips a little. And then next, I'm going to dice up a jalapeno. And I'm not going to add any seeds or ribs. It's just going to be the outside. And I might not even do the whole thing. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that ice cream base is really starting to go. So I need to get on with this. In fact, I'm only gonna do half of this. I don't wanna do the whole thing. Since it's gonna sit in there for a while, I don't know how hot these jalapenos are, but they smell hot. And I know that they're gonna sit in that dip for a while and just kind of leach out all their spicy into the dip. So I don't wanna, I don't, I really don't want it to be too spicy from the get go. I want it to, be able to build because I mean I'm not going to take this jalapeno out once it goes in and I'm going to try to dice this up as teeny tiny as I can it doesn't have to be pretty because it is going in a dip so now we're just waiting for the sour cream to get here. So in the meantime, this is gonna go in the refrigerator. I'm gonna wash my hands and continue to stir the ice cream base. I just realized you're out of focus. I'm sure you don't care. Anyway, see you in a few minutes. The triumphant has returned with sour cream. And this, I guess, was a journey to find more cornstarch. Um, yeah, three stores. So um, I didn't show you, but this is thickened. So this is what we're looking for. I've heated up our queso. We have chips. I've heated up some chicken tenders. I gave our evaporated milk a shake, but now I'm ready to put some sour cream in our dip. Yum. Hi there. It is Sunday. I almost said Thursday. I don't know why Thursday wanted to come out. It is not Thursday, it's Sunday. I didn't vlog anything else yesterday. Um, we had a really great night. We've been watching Food Network Star on Discovery Plus, like old, old seasons. Why? I have no idea, but we just watched Jeff Morrow win, so that's fun. I have been getting ready to cut out a dress pattern thing um, this morning. Um, actually, it's 10, 18 in the morning, and we're getting ready to actually start freezing some ice cream. Can I put you here? I can, okay, so you're sitting on top of an ice cream freezer canister, that's not clean. Um, and I'm getting ready to put some freeze dried strawberries in the blender to crush them into dust. But this is dirty, I need to wash this, we don't need these, so. <sighs> this job just got a little bit harder, whatever, it's fine. So I'm, I don't know, maybe, maybe you don't care, but if you care about like how we make our homemade ice cream and a recipe and like a how-to video. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Not this weekend though. It's just not happening. This video was sort of spur of the moment. I just kind of felt like, hey, we're doing a whole lot of stuff. Let's pick up the camera and vlog. I don't even know if you'll see this video. If you see this video, it's because it actually turned into something that I thought was worth sharing. Um, I'm trying to get this thing actually dry because um, like if I was making something wet in the blender, I wouldn't worry about drying it off so well. But since I'm trying to make freeze dried strawberries into like a dust and not a gummy dust, I'm trying to get it completely fully dry. You wanna make an appearance, Mom? Uh, I don't think I'm fit to be shown on camera. Oh my, I just saw Mom's dirty knees. Mom has been out in the yard. Doing... Digging. Are you happy? She's yeah. got a big smile on her face. She likes that kind of stuff. She's sweaty, but I think she's ha happy. 
I won't put that in until we're pouring it into the containers. You want to swirl it in? Uh-huh. Because I'm afraid it'll gum it up, gum the paddle up. Because there is a lot of pulpy... You want to mix it in like we do with the butter brickle. Yeah. Okay. Smell yummy. Okay, strawberry dust is made. Um, I hope it's enough. It'll probably be enough for a gallon. Yeah, I think it Three bags, it should be enough. I've never done this, done it this way before, so it's an experiment. Um, I didn't show you that we made the base yesterday. Well, we. This is a light we, the royal we. Mom made it yesterday. You and made we, some too. I didn't do anything. I stirred the cornstarch and milk on the stove. No, <laughs> I didn't I do nothing. anything. This is mom's project, mom's baby. I just get to enjoy the product. But we made it yesterday, and the reason we didn't freeze it yesterday is because when you make the ice cream base, it's warm. So it goes into the refrigerator overnight, so it's cold, so you're starting with a cold product. So when you freeze it, just it takes a little bit less time because it's not like you're taking hot ice cream base and putting it in a freezer when it's 90 degrees and 80% humidity outside. Expecting it to freeze into ice cream, you're starting with something cold, so it's got a little bit less of a distance to go. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. So, anyway. We did that, or she did that yesterday. I keep saying me, we, me, we, we, we. No, not me, not we, she. She did it, I didn't do anything. It is now one o'clock in the afternoon, I think. A little bit after one, one ten in the afternoon. And I have been pinning the dress pattern um, to my fabric. Dishes are washed. We have four gallons of ice cream made and put into containers in the freezer. And now it is pool time. But first, I wanted to share with you some wine because it sounds a little bit scary, but it's actually really, really special. Found this in Kansas City, um, Gosh, last year or the year before, but at the Lucas Wine Spirits liquor store, whatever. Um, it's a Hatch Red Chili Wine. Sounds terrifying. I opened it the other night because we were having like our taco night. Not tacos, but we were, we were having like a Mexican night. We did queso Friday night. Did I? I don't think I vlogged anything Friday night. Um, but we made queso. We made chori pollo. We had like chips and salsa, and it was very good. Um, we even made guacamole. Um, but I opened this, because I thought this would go with it, and it's a red wine, but it's sort of sweet, and it is not spicy. It's peppery, you can taste that it's like a fresh pepper, but it's not spicy, it's just like fresh and sort of summery, so I just wanted to share this. Um, yeah, I don't even know where, um, New Mexico is where it was made. Produced and bottled by Southwest Wines in Deming, New Mexico, which is cool. Um, so anyway, I wanted to share that with you in case you were interested. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna have some wine out by the pool um, and maybe I'll pick you guys up in a bit. We'll see, I don't know. Okay folks, I don't have a whole lot else to show you today. So I think I'm just gonna show you our freezer full of ice cream and then that's gonna be it for today. So let's look at the freezer for a second because I'm really impressed by this. Okay, so we have a little bit of ice cream, homemade ice cream left over from last year. So this is mint, I think that one might be maple. Um, I think that's vanilla, I'm not sure. But this is all the stuff we made this time. I think it's a total of four gallons because we had a gallon and a half of vanilla, a gallon and a half of maple, and then a gallon of the strawberry. Now with the strawberry, I didn't show this because we all we both had our hands like really full. With the strawberry, we ended up like taking the ground up. Um, with the strawberry, we ended up taking the ground up uh, freeze dried strawberries, and then we kind of mixed it into the ice cream. There's no like flavor in the ice cream; it's just the strawberries in there, and it's delicious. Um, and we have one great big one for that because that is what we are going to keep here. The rest of the ice cream we put in these little like cheapo takeaway containers um, and we tried to color code. So 
this one's not right but anyway we we use the cheap ones like the very 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 chintzy probably will break on the first use ones because we like to give the ice cream away to friends and when we give it away we don't want the tupperware back so i mean that's sort of our process but we've got the purple lids plus this one those are vanilla um the blue in the back that's maple and the green is strawberry so there you go it's been in there for a little while it needs to sit in there for a little while longer just to completely solidify but I think that's all I wanted to show you um, for this weekend. Just a little glimpse into our weekend preparing for the 4th of July. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about all of it. Like the homemade ice cream, it was really, really fun. The hatch chili wine was very, very good. We have a green one. I think I shared that, or I, I think I talked about we have a green one, a green hatch chili, not a green wine. I, I think it's a white wine, I don't know. But I'm excited to try that one some other time. Um, yeah, anyway, that's all I wanted to share. So that's just a glimpse into our weekend. You guys will see us in another video really soon. Bye.